There it is. There it is. Hey, I need to get that one down. Hey guys, we're back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild and today we're going to be hunting in Emerald Coast for the diamonds we need to have them all. But seeing as I spotted a, what looks like a melanistic, we definitely have to get this one first. But then we are going to be hunting for a diamond Javin Rusadir because that is the one diamond I have left in Emerald Coast. Come on, baby, land. <laughs> There it is. Oh, look at that thing. That's gotta be melanistic. Come on, land, baby. They're landing. Okay, I'm gonna watch it. Here it comes. Yes, it's gonna land. Yes. Okay. Oh, look at that thing. It's not hidden in there. I think it's like 68 meters. You know what? I'm gonna shoot it with the virant. I think that's probably the safest. That's it right there. Okay, wait till it steps out. Here we go. No. I think I got it. Did I? I have no idea. I don't see it. I don't know. Do we have hunting pressure? I think we do. Let's get the dog to get on it. That's you, my girl. I hope we got it. But guys, let me know in the comments what your absolute best trophy is from Emerald Coast so far. And somewhere in the video, I am gonna share a key phrase. Drop that in the comments for your chance to be featured in a video. And we will be announcing the first winner this weekend. And if you are on console, then it would be a voice chat also included in a video. And the dog is got a goose, but I don't think that's the right one. What are you doing, dog? Oh, <laughs> what is it doing? Are you playing with it? It moves it a bit and then it leaves it. What? It says returning with harvest. Uh, I don't know why. Maybe I need to give it more love. I don't know. But at this rate, it's gonna take a while. Here we go. Thank you. That's not the one. Oh, that's a level three male. That is not the one. Is there any more? Did we get any more? No? Are you sure? We'll give you a pet. You're not gonna give me any love for that? Come on, dog. All right, how about shake a paw? Oh, shake a paw. Oh, I get some love for that. Sweet, sweet, but we need a little bit more. So we'll do it one more time. And now we are BFFs. Can you look again? I don't think I got it. I think we're gonna have to try that again. Nothing to retrieve, man. So one really big piece of advice I would give when setting up to do any kind of decoy hunting is to fill up your inventory right to the max. And the reason you wanna do that is so that you don't accidentally pick those decoys up when you are trying to spot geese. And that drives me absolutely crazy. So these are the weapons I'm gonna be using today. So I have with me the our Xena 300 Mag Tactical for splattering those crocs when they are being very annoying. Then I do have the Virate 22 for the longer shots as we hunt magpie geese. I'm just gonna carry the 308 on me and then I am carrying two shotguns with me. We're mainly going to be using the 10 gauge Strandberg, which I am absolutely loving. This shotgun is amazing. And then we have a second shotgun so that we do have between the two 10 shots. The Strandberg has four and the Cachatory has six. So if we need more than four, we're gonna use them all up. Then we're gonna try not to reload, cycle over to the Cacciatore and shoot six more times. That's quite a few birdshot bullets. Now, all of these sights are about half a kilogram. So I'm just gonna keep throwing those babies in. Okay, so we are pretty darn close. Okay guys, there it is. That is what I think is a melanistic. It's gotta be. Look how dark it is. Come on, dude, land. Please do not leave. <laughs> Is he coming in? I think he might be. I hope he is. That's him right there. He's defensive. I gotta shoot him. I'm gonna shoot him with the 22. Why is he defensive? It's the wind. I gotta move my setup. It's not working. Oh, that's not the right weapon. Darn it. Where's my 22? And it's gone. Never gonna hit it. Okay, there it is. It is a level three. I need it to land. Come on, dude, land. That's right, my dude. In you come. Still got eyes on it. That's right, here it comes. What are you doing? Land. Is it just gonna fly away? Are you kidding? It's just gonna fly away. Oh my gosh. Chances of hitting it are slim to none. This one just will not land. Won't even come close and where'd it go? There it is. It's still calm. <laughs> well, don't think we're gonna get him. Not yet anyway. They are landing right in front of us. Yes. I don't think any of these are rare. Okay, we're gonna do some pummeling. They are 50 meters. 
Well, I think we did pretty good there. <laughs> Delightful. I like being up here in the tripod. It's working way better so far. And I decided to put some decoys out on the land here and see how that would work out. And they are landing nice and close to us. So we have an orange and I believe that refers to their beak color, I think. I haven't hunted enough of these yet. Yellow, I can't even tell the difference. <laughs> Another yellow, a maroon, and yes, definitely is the beak color, and we have our first gold. Okay, let's do that again. That was great. Okay, it is back. There it is. So we definitely did miss it, but we're getting a second chance. There it goes. It's gonna land. There it goes. There it goes. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna measure how far it is. 50 meters. Zero to 50. Huh. Look at that thing. Hey, here we go. Please let me hit it. I got it! I got it! Might as well take some more. And that's it, that's my four shots. Okay, dog. Go get it, go get it. <laughs> Look what the dog's doing. Okay, okay, that is not the Mela, that is another kill. This guy is an orange, level two female. Just a silver. Is this the one? I think this is the one. Yes, look at that. Look at that. That is so cool. Oh my gosh, look at that thing. Oh, that's amazing. Melanistic magpie goose. That is so insane. And I got it in the skull. 45.4 meter shot with the Strandberg 10 gauge. Well, I'm definitely taxiing that. That's amazing. So she's gonna score 3.18. Not quite a gold, but still a very, very cool find. I just spotted her looking up in the sky. It's crazy. I don't know if piebald will be as easy to recognize. That's gonna be a tougher one, but I now have a diamond and a melanistic. And hello, how you doing? Not so good. <laughs> I think we got that one. I think that's the sign that we got it. Let's watch and see if it drops in health. It is dropping. Whenever they put their wings straight up in the sky, it means they've taken a bullet. Let's see if I can give her some help. Not so easy. Man, by the time she drops, she is gonna be miles away. And that's why the Virant is just so much handier than the Zarza 22, because 10 shots is gonna be a lot more useful than five. So that's a maroon and a yellow. So this is where we set up, and that's where we got the Melanistic Magpie Goose. Okay, we haven't hunted crocs in a while, so we're gonna run the coast and see if we can find any sweet crocs. Now, whenever I can, I always go for neck shots, and this guy is giving me a perfect angle. And splat, beautiful. That is so much fun. And with the Arzina, it is really easy to do. You just have to have a beautiful broadside angle, be perfectly zeroed and aim right at the neck, halfway down the body and you will drop that croc. This takes a little bit of practice. So, so far I have two rare crocs. I have many diamonds cause I did grind them for a little bit. I have an albino and I have a melanistic. So, oh, and I do have a piebald. I did get a piebald recently. So I believe there are two different variations of piebald. So I do need the other one. There is also light brown, which is rare and leucistic. So I don't have a leucistic or a light brown. And there is one variation of piebald that I am missing. Yes, I see you, Mr. Six. That's just a really terrible angle. Oh, that's better. Don't think I can get neck with that angle, but I can definitely get long and I did. Yes. How you doing, Mr. Six? That's still not a very good angle, but... And I got along with him too. Beauty, eight mythical, and there's the shot. Beautiful, upper neck. 1,429 crocs do pay the big bucks. So we got two right long shots there. Beauty, but not a huge fan of waiting for floaters. And this guy is a dark brown, and I understand dark brown is uncommon. So we're looking for a light brown, and I've actually never even seen one. So I'm not 100% sure what they look like, just something I've never seen before. Okay, I'm gonna try for another neck shot, but we're not perfectly zeroed. So I'm gonna aim a little bit high, and I missed. Go for a long shot then. Come on, drop, baby. Get him! If you fail at the next shot, you go for the lung shot as long as you get a vital. That's the most important thing. Yeah? You're alarmed? 
Beautiful! That was a good neck shot. Do I have to wait for this floater? Uh, I don't want to. That's gonna take forever. Yeah, forever. <laughs> so look, I ran all the way up to this female that we dropped with the neck shot. <laughs> And my floater is just passing by now. I'm sure I can't get it. Nah. So I think I'm going to pass on that one. It just takes too darn long. But that was a beauty neck shot on a bit of an angle. I will definitely take it. Be sweet if we could find a nice croc, a trophy, but not so far. I will keep looking. Okay, we have an eight mythical. I don't know if he's going to give us a perfectly broadside or not. Looks pretty good. I think I'm going to have to stand though. All right. Beautiful! That is just too much fun. I love doing that. Oh, another one? Another, oh, stop running. Another eight mythical. I'm gonna get some sweet resources. Oh, you're coming for me. He's coming for me. Okay, bring it, baby. Lay down, dog. I don't want him to chicken out. Oh, he's chickening. No, no, give me back the 300. No, oh, he's gone. Ugh. Rip. What a chicken! Oh well, I'll get him next time. How you doing, my dude? And there is our 8 mythical 943. And there's the shot. Jeez, that wasn't bad for an angle. Not bad at all. I will definitely take it. Bullet for you. Another bullet for you. And we got him. Hopefully he dies soon, because I don't want to wait for the floater. Sorry. If you hear a little ding ding in the background, that's my very loud cat. <laughs> This is him here. That's Levi. He is 10 months old and he is very, very hyper and very cute. Oh, we got some bantang over there. Any big ones? Not that I can see from here, but we'll go and check it out in just a sec. And a level seven gold with a lung shot. I'll take it. Okay, well, we did not too bad on the coast. No trophies, so let's go hunt for some Rusadir. Guys, look at this. I just picked up a feed zone for 11 quail. Let me show you where it is in case you are looking for quail. Right here, right there on the map. Isn't that crazy? I find them very hard to find, so that is a big zone and I will definitely be coming back during daylight to hunt it. It is from 16 to 20. That is a pretty big one. Oh my gosh, I need to shoot it before it vanishes. Definitely got it. Yes. Now the reason I don't love hunting Bruce deer so much is because you have to hunt them in the dark, basically out here in the mangroves. And man, it is not easy. Very dreary out here. And here he is, 116. Oh, and the first shot was good and the second one, not so much. All right, so that's a 116 and we're looking for a much larger one. <laughs> 32 more points. We have a ways to go. How you doing, my dude? Turn for me. Come on. Oh, I, I knew. No, what am I hitting? <laughs> I'm having a hard time. He's coming. Oh my gosh. Come on. Reload, reload, reload. Come on. Hurry up. That should be good. I'm just going to fill him full of. Oops. We definitely got him. He's gonna die. I hope Ugh. I don't die too. Hurry up and go splat! Come on! Take your time. It's gonna be full of like 18 bullets. And he went splat finally. Thank you. Are you done? <laughs> Only four shots? That's it? Well, we got him. That's what matters. It is super creepy out here. This is what we're gonna have to hunt on Halloween next year. Oh, we have another six there. It says he's fleeing, but he doesn't look like it. I don't even know if I can get that in the water. Nope. That hit him. I can't go down and get long because of the water. Oh, I got him there. I think I might've got a heart shot. And splat. Let's go see how many bullets he's actually wearing. Oh, that's a big one. I can tell just by the antlers and it has a huge trophy rating. What is diamond? Okay, diamond is 148. This guy goes to 157. I doubt he's a diamond at level four, but you never know. How you doing, my dude? And there he is, three shots into him. And the last one was, oh, we did get a good shot on the second shot. So we didn't need a third, but hey, thousand dollars. Okay, that's the one I want. That's the one. Okay, I'm gonna take that. Let's turn off the light. Don't think anything's blocking the shot. Now I kind of have to stand up straight. Oh no, I don't. Oh no, I think I do because of branches. Okay, here we go. 
That looked good. It was good. We got him. All right, fingers crossed. He's definitely a pretty nice one. There's another diamond potential level four and he looks nice too. Oh my gosh, there's a five medium. Get out of here. Oh my gosh, yes, yes. Okay, man, there are so many branches. Look at this four. Yeah, the five is definitely bigger. Well, oh, am I, 100, am I 168 meters away? Okay, better not spook him. Dude, do not leave. I'm gonna have to stand up straight. Oh, I don't like doing this, but here we go. Please be a, please be a good shot. Okay, is anything blocking? I can't tell. I'm gonna get closer. I would have hit a tree. Okay, my wind isn't too bad. It's not the best. I'm gonna walk until I can get a clear shot. Oh, I cannot see it. Okay, I'm gonna go prone. And we need to go pick up that first one as well. Okay, I'm gonna zero down to 75. I can't see anything. So that's where we are. We, we have almost wiped out all of that hunting pressure from hunting crocs. You can see we've been hunting Rusa up here. Oh my gosh, we are s under 60 meters away. Okay, as long as I can see it, I'm gonna get into this tree. Where is he? There he is. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, here we go. How you doing, my dude? And we got him. Oh, jeez. Should have got that other one. He's not bad, but I think we might have a diamond. Come on, baby. You can make it. And there's the vital blood splatter. And there he is. Okay, please do not be a troll. I have already been trolled by Rusadir, but he looks pretty darn beautiful. Here we go. Moment of truth. Yes! That is amazing. 151.27. He's about two and a half points above diamond and that will definitely do the job. And he is a beauty. Man, he is big compared to the other ones. They're just not a big deer species, but he is a big one. So we're gonna taxi him and we have our very first diamond Rusadir. And that's one off the list. I think we're now down to 11 diamonds needed to have them all. And we're gonna keep hunting for them. Not today, <laughs> but the series will continue. And that is absolutely incredible. 76.65 meters with the Zarza 308. And this is where we got him, right there in Tomba Coast. And here is the big level four that we shot before we found the five. Not bad. 137.02 is a pretty nice one. 11 points under diamond. And this guy is a two-tone. Not bad. We're doing all right. Guys, you're not going to believe this. I decided to run a little bit further up just to see. And there's another level five Rusadir. Now the land is coming up halfway up his body. Okay, I'm going to take this and I'm going to stand straight up. Here we go. Looked beautiful. We got him. And he is going down. Okay, here he is. He looks pretty nice. Here we go. Yes! Yes! He's a big one. Ooh, he's nine points above diamond. I can't believe we just went from zero Rusa diamonds to two of them. And after a troll or two, I did get trolled first, but we definitely can check Javin Rusa Deer off the list for every diamond in the game. And we have 11 left. If you are new to the channel, guys, and you haven't done so yet, hit that subscribe button for more daily Call of the Wild content. And thank you guys so much for watching.